Hong Kong was just named the fifth most global city in the world by Foreign Policy magazine in its 2008 Global Cities Index, beating out top contenders like Los Angeles, Singapore, and Beijing. The rankings are determined by several factors, including a city's business activity and information flow, and more recently, cultural experience. The culture of Hong Kong is undeniably unique. It has often been referred to as a perfect blending of East and West, but for some Westerners living in Hong Kong, they'd have to disagree. I, I just feel like the Hong Kong culture is all about themselves. It's all about, it's about that individual and their family, and they don't care about anybody else. I have very few Chinese people that I would say were friends. I have good in Hong Kong friends. Hey, buddy, look at that smile. Betsy Lindsay, Jenny Farr, <laughs> and Linda Rao all moved to Hong Kong for their husband's jobs and have been living here for more than a year now. When Betsy's husband was hesitant about the move, she was actually the one who convinced him it would be great. That was, you know, that was my initial thought was that we could move to Asia and it would be interesting. So then we, we got here um, in about two years ago and um, it wasn't quite, you know, it was a, there was that culture shock. The promise of an unforgettable immersion in the mysterious Orient. That's the advertising pattern of organizations like the Hong Kong Tourism Board and the hope of many coming to Hong Kong for the first time. But these women, at least, all say their cultural experience has consisted of isolation from the Chinese community rather than assimilation, but not for a lack of trying. I wanted to learn about Chinese culture and I wanted to be friends and, and have that insight. You know, I'm in Asia, I want to do Asian things. I promised myself that I would make friends with some of the locals. That's a lot easier said than done. The, the local Chinese don't really, I think, have a lot of time for the expats who are in, in the area, which is fair enough. But um, there is not that integration that you would find in a normal Western civilization, I don't think. As a result, these women, like a lot of expat women living in Hong Kong, have further separated themselves from the Chinese community, moving to almost exclusively expat areas like Discovery Bay and Stanley. In fact, most companies have expat advisors who tell their foreign employees to look for residents in these areas. The expat uh, coordinator at Phillips Medical, where Niels works, she said, you know, you, you, you want to talk to the real estate agent about places that, where expats live. I think that the, the real estate person kind of knows these things and kind of pushed us towards these locations. So. Cultural clashes have also made assimilating difficult. I had an incident one day which for some reason stuck in my mind and I felt that that was something that really would have only happened if now that I'm living in the East. I was standing um, at a Starbucks coffee shop with a, a coffee in my hand waiting to get a seat because all the seats were occupied. And I had really been standing a long time and it was obvious that I was looking for a, a seat to sit down on and as Wayne as one became available there was a Chinese man who jumped ahead of me and sat down and I, I stood there and I, I was speechless because it was what I considered to be so rude but I expect that's something that they consider to be very normal and that really is one of the incidences that I remember clearly. <laughs> when I get on a minibus I, uh, I get really angry at, at, at some of the lack of consideration with the particularly the people who are talking on cell phones I mean that just drives me nuts you know they talk at the top of their lungs rah, 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 rah. and you're just like you you know I've, I've actually turned to people can you please be more quiet on the phone thank you and it's it's not like um, there are a lot of hard feelings between the cultures it's just the fact that we are so inherently different and for these women, at least, it's the inherent differences that make a true blending of East and West a never-ending challenge. While many here have found harmonious integration, as a global city, Hong Kong's competing cultures do seem at times a world apart. Sarah Shackles, reporting for the JMSC.